and welcome back to my channel thank you to my new subscribers i appreciate you all so today we're going to work on a cute hobo bag and i'm not going to make a really big one i just want to give you a nice idea this size that i'm making you probably can use for a little girl so i have two strands of a category three yarn and i'm going to use those together and i have a 5.5 millimeter hook i hope you can see that so as always, we're going to start off with a magic circle. I love the magic circle. So let's go ahead and make our magic circle. And remember, I'm using two strands, so it is going to be kind of thick. So you'll see four strands here, but we're only going to count them as one. And then go ahead and make your magic circle. And chain two. Now, if you don't want to make a magic circle, you can always go ahead and chain uh, six and then slip stitch into the first stitch and then in the first chain and then go ahead and make your uh, double crochets. So we're going to start off with 10 double crochets into this row here. So for my double crochet for my beginners, this is how you make a double crochet. You yarn over, which means grab your hook and bring it around your yarn. Go into your loop. Yarn over, which just means to grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And that's how you make a double crochet. So we're going to make 10 double crochets into this magic circle. And I will be back. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and continue on and I'm going to go ahead and pull my magic circle. You just pull, pull on that right there on your tail and it'll close it up real nice. So now we're going to go into the top of that first double crochet. We're going to incorporate a stitch marker. So go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch there. Now we're going to increase. So go ahead and chain two and go back into that same stitch with a double crochet. This will be the last time that we chain. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a stitch marker. And go ahead and put it into that first stitch. So now in that first stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. I said one, but it's actually two because we're increasing. In your next stitch, you're going to make one double crochet. I'm sorry. It's two double crochets going around, sorry. So you put two double crochets into each stitch first. So after you've made your 10 double crochets, go ahead and make two double crochets into each of these stitches. And when you come to the end, you should have 20 double crochets. Okay. So keep making your way around and I'm going to meet you right before that stitch marker. Okay, so we're back. We're still on row two. Now we're going to go ahead and go into that next row there. So I don't want to use, I don't want to slip stitch again. So I'm going to show you how to close up that gap there without um, uh, it folding in. So now when you made your, at your previous row, when you made your 10 double crochets and you're going into your second row, um, which is where we are now at the end, you made a slip stitch. So in that hole right there, there's a little hole right there, a little space right there. That's where you're going to put your hook. 
So you're going to go into that space and then make a slip stitch. And now you're closer to the beginning of the row. So now in the beginning, in your first double crochet, go ahead and put two double crochets. And then in your next stitch, oops, if you're using two strands, make sure that you're grabbing both of those strands. So let me put that double crochet back in there. There's one. And then in your next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. So that's your pattern. In your first double crochet, you're going to put two double crochets. In the next one, you'll put one. In the next one, you'll put two. And that's your pattern. So now we go one here. Oops. And then the next is two. Okay. So in your first one, it's two double crochets. The next one is one double crochet. The next one is two double crochets. And the next stitch is one. The next stitch two. So you just repeat that pattern all the way around. And again, I'll meet you right over here before that last stitch. Okay, so we're at the end of the row. And um, make sure you put your stitch marker when you make your first double crochet. Make, you, make sure you put your stitch marker in the beginning of that row. So now we're at the end and I've made my double crochet here. I'm going to make my last two double crochets into my last stitch here. And now just immediately into your next stitch. Remove your stitch marker and then go into your next stitch with two double crochets. Now in a little bit, in a couple more rows, we're going to change up our design here and do something different. So now in this next row, which is row four, I'm going to make two double crochets. Two double crochets into the first stitch and then one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch so that's two one one and then in the next stitch you're going to make two double crochets so now one in the next one one in the next one and two in the next one and that is your pattern so when you get back to the end of the row um, you should have when you get to your last double crochet which will come right here you should have 40 double crochets going around because now we're in row four one two three well sorry <laughs> yeah i'm correct one two three we're in row four so you should have 40 double crochets by the time you're done. I'm going to keep going. Remember, start with two and then one and then one and then two. That's your pattern going all the way around and I'll be okay. So now I'm back and I'm at the end of round four. And I'm going to put my final double, excuse me, my final double crochet right here. And as you can see, it's already beginning to give me a nice um, round kind of bowl shape here. So now we're going into that next stitch. So go ahead and remove that stitch marker and go ahead and add two double crochets Oops, to that first stitch. And then one in your next one. Remember to add your stitch marker because boy, it, you'll get lost, I promise. And then there's two, so that's two double crochets in the first stitch, one in the next one, one double crochet into the next one. My stitch marker came out. Hold on. Okay, so two in the first stitch, two in the first stitch, one in the next stitch. One in the next stitch. And then one more. So you're going to make 
two in the first stitch, two half double crochets in the first stitch, and one, two, three, one double crochet in the next three stitches. Because down here you did one in the next two stitches. So you're going to do one for the next three stitches. So that's two. This is one, two, and one more is three. And then in the next one, you make two double crochets. Okay. And just keep repeating that pattern. This is going to be the last time that I increase. If you want to keep going and you want to increase some more to make it bigger, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and continue this round here. And I will meet you at the end. Okay, I'm at the end of the row now. So I'm going to go in and make my last double crochet here. I'm going to make my last two double crochets here. Okay, so now I'm not going to increase anymore, but I am going to make some more rows going around. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and continue. So in your next stitch, you would make two double crochets and then make four double crochets going across. One double crochet into each stitch four times. And then the next one, you would put two double crochets and that would be your pattern for one, two, three, four, five. That'll be your pattern for row six. And then you can just keep going from there if you want to. But because I want to continue showing you the rest, I'm going to stop here. Stop increasing that is. And I'm just going to make some double crochets going all the way around. So remember when you restart your row and you put your first double crochet in or whatever stitch you're using, go ahead and put that stitch marker back into that space. And so now we're just going to go around with some half double crochets. I'm going to do this for about three or four rows. I think I'm going to do four rows and then I'll be back and show you what to do from there. So go ahead and pause and make your double crochet rows or increase how you want to increase and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I went ahead and I added four more rows to this. And this is what it looks like. It, it kind of looks like a beanie pretty much. Um, that's how you would really do a beanie pattern. But this is a bag. <laughs> so we're going to continue. This is row. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows. So I had four and then I went ahead and um, increased. Well, I had six and then I increased by four. So now we're going to continue on and go into the next row. Now we want to take and we want to make this opening a little smaller. Excuse me. Make this opening a little bit smaller. So we're going to decrease. And the way we're going to do our decreases is we're going to uh, single crochet two stitches together. So let me show you how to do that. We're back at that stitch marker. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And I do have a tutorial on how to single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, how to double crochet, how to um, crochet those stitches together. Ooh, I couldn't get it out. So I'm going to go ahead into my first stitch with a single crochet. So go into your stitch with a single crochet. Do not yarn over and pull through. You're going to go into the next stitch with and then pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And there's your decrease. So you change two, two stitches into one. And like I said, I do have a tutorial on how to do that. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to single crochet into the next 10 stitches. So you have your decrease there. Go ahead and put your stitch marker back in there so you don't get lost. And then continue on decreasing. Actually, I put that in the wrong spot. Sorry. It goes here. So now we're going to go ahead and continue on. So after you do your decrease, go ahead and make 10 uh, single crochets. So there's your decrease there. One, two. Okay, 
It gets crazy, guys. I don't normally bring two strands together or use two strands. Sometimes I do. It depends on what I got going on. But sometimes it could be a pain in the butt. Okay. So that's our decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. And now we're going to decrease again. So now go back into that stitch again, that next stitch, like you're making a single crochet and pull up a loop. Go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three of those stitches and just do that again. So you're going to decrease in the beginning make 10 single crochets and then decrease again and then make 10 single crochets and do that all the way around so i'm going to continue doing that and i'll meet you right before that stitch marker okay so i'm almost at the end of the row and now i'm going to put my last few single crochets in here Okay, so I made a boo-boo because I have 10 here and I can decrease one more time. So let me go back in here and do this decrease. Okay, so that's the final single crochet of the row. So now we're going to go ahead and decrease just one more time. We're going to come up a lot further. You see how higher that's getting there? So now we're going to come up a little bit more. We're going to decrease one more time. So again, when you get back to that stitch marker, go ahead and take out your stitch marker and go ahead and decrease. Now remember, we made two stitches into one. So you're going to have less stitches now than you did from the previous row. So we're going to do it one more time and do a decrease. Make sure once you make that decrease, you go ahead and put your stitch marker back in there. And instead of uh, single crocheting 10 times, we're going to single crochet 20 times around. So go ahead and make your single crochets, your 20 single crochets. Nineteen and twenty. Oof. Now the next one, go ahead and decrease, and just keep doing that around. Make your twenty. After you make this decrease, go ahead and make your twenty single crochets, and then decrease again. And then I'm going to meet you back where that stitch marker is, and we'll continue from there. So now on coming around this way, we're only going to have nine single crochets when we get to the end. So I have a decrease here. And then I made nine more single crochets going across. So now, no more decreasing. You can either stop here and or you can continue making the way up and make it a little bit wider. But we're going to start working on the straps. So I'm going to make two more rows of these single crochets. I'm not going to decrease anymore. So you just make one single crochet going around. We're only going to do one row of that. So when you make your first single crochet, go ahead and put your stitch marker back in there and make one single crochet into each stitch going around. Okay, and I'll meet you right back here and we'll go. Okay, so now I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to take out this stitch marker. And now we're going to work on the strap. It's just one strap. It's not going to be a long handle. You can make it as, li as loud. You can make it as wide as you want to. But I'm only going to go over about six um, stitches. So I'm going to make six single crochets. And you don't need your stitch marker anymore. That's two. Three. 
four, five, eight, and six. Okay, so now you're just going to turn your work. Um, I normally do not chain with a single crochet. I do not chain one. If you want to do that, you can. You just go ahead and chain one and then continue on. So now we're going to come back around. We're going to make a single crochet into this first stitch. And then we're going to make five more single crochets. That's two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Now you're going to decide how long you want for your strap to be. If you want it to be long enough that it can only be held in the hand or like a like a um like a small purse or if you want it to go over the shoulder. I'm just gonna make it simple as pie and just make it a nice so you can, you know, hold it in your hand and swing it around if you want to. <laughs> but um just keep making your single crochet. So again just go ahead and turn your work and then make your single crochets. And just do this going back and forth for as long as you want the strap to be. Um, I'm not quite sure how long I want it to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue on. I think I'm going to make maybe about 20 rows. Maybe 20 or 30 rows. I'll see how it goes. But um, I will be back when I have my strap done. And then I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so my strap is ready. I decided to do... 24 rows here it doesn't look like it because there's single crochets but i went ahead and made 24 rows of those single crochets again make it as long as you want so now we're going to take and um snip off our yarn grab my scissors i'm going to cut off and give it a nice decent length so that we can weave in our ends And now just go ahead and pull that through. And I have my large darning needle here. I'm going to go ahead and thread that real quick. And let's go ahead and get this strap on. So now immediately go just directly right over to the other side. Just fold your handle over and make it go right over to the other side. And now we're going to go ahead and add this strap. So just go into that first stitch here with your darning needle. Make sure you're going through all of your loops, just like you, if you had your crochet hook. Go through all of your loops and then come through and then come back through this way into that back loop only. So you go through these two. It's a part of the bag, but you're only going to go into the back loop of that next one. And just pull nice and taut. And then again, go right back through that back one there. See how I'm doing that? That's the front loop right there. And then go through both of the loops on the other side. I mean, on the other end of your bag. And then again, weave back through this way and go into that back loop only and back and forth. And this is going to give it a nice flat look there. And then go ahead into that back one. Remember, you're only doing six because you only made six single crochets going across. So you're only going through six of these stitches. So I'm sorry, go through both of those loops on the bag. And then only in that back loop on the handle. And don't pull too tight. You really don't have to pull that tight. But you see how flat that is? And then go back through the stitch. And come back out the other end. Make sure I'm in the camera. And then go ahead and pull that. Now go ahead and bring it around to the other side. So that you can secure it. So make sure everything is nice and, and pulled together. 
all of that is pulled together and go ahead and weave in. So I normally just go in and out of the stitches when I'm weaving and make sure you know you might even want to split a stitch go right in between split the yarn and put your um, darning needle in between there like that just for some added security make sure you're pulling good so that that end comes together with the other end and just keep making your way through these stitches if you want to just go you can go through the top and make your way through each stitch and it doesn't have to be neat because you want to maybe even split a little bit of your yarn here and then just go ahead and pull your needle through I should have used my smaller darning needle but I'll get it okay so that's nice and tight so you just keep on going um, you might even want to go all the way around or dip down into the stitch like this and go down that way, you know, just for some security to make sure nothing comes out and then back through the stitch again. Okay, so you see how that's on there like that. And now we just have to go ahead and snip off and like I said you can weave in a little further if you want to but since I don't have a little girl um, my girls are grown uh, we're going to do it this way so let me cut that off and there's your bag okay so that's cute a quick easy bag to make you'll see it a little bit better at the end of the video I don't have a lot of room so I can't really zoom out but I'm getting there guys I'm gonna I'm getting a camera and all that good stuff so anyway this is the bag and that's what it looks like there's your little strap there so I want to thank you for watching this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tie Handmade Crochet. Have a great day. Bye bye.